hey guys welcome to my channel in this guide i'm going to be showing you how to port twrp custom recovery to android devices that don't have a official twrp support now this guide will work for devices running android 11 and android 10 but if you also have um, devices with older os versions like android 8 and 9 you can as well make use of this tutorial to make a twrp port for that device so without further ado let's get into the video Um, so guys, to port the TWRP custom recovery for your device, you actually need three things. First, you need your stock recovery.img. Now, you can get that from your stock ROM or your stock firmware. The second thing you need is um, your TWRP port. And um, lastly, you need the Android Image Kitchen too. Um, for your stock firmware, you can actually extract it from your device. I've dropped the link in the description on how to do that. Or you can simply go online and search for your um, device stock firmware and download. Now for the um, TWRP port as well, I've dropped the link in the description to a few TWRP images that you can use as base for this guy. Now assuming you have all the files ready, let's start porting. After you must have downloaded the Android Image Kitchen 2, you need to extract it because it will be in an archive format. So let's go ahead and do that already. So let's give that a moment. Now after extracting the Android Image Kitchen 2, let's take it aside and bring up the folder. Now you open the Android Image Kitchen 2 folder. Now you notice another subfolder after opening that folder, so you double click to open it. Now in the Android Image Kitchen 2, you see all the files and components that are required for unpacking and repacking the recovery.img file. Now for those who don't already know, the Android Image Kitchen 2 is actually a tool that allows you to unpack and repack boot images and recovery images. To make this process uh, a lot easier and fast, let's go ahead and duplicate this folder. So you copy and paste. Now let's give that a moment. Okay, now as you can see, we have um, two Android Image Kitchen 2 that we can use for porting um, a TWRP recovery for our device. So, what we're going to do next is um, let's um, rename both folders. Let's rename the first folder and call it, um, let's call it stock. And go ahead and re uh, rename the second folder as well. And let's call that um, port. So, now we have. Um, two folders that we can use for our recovery button so the next thing you want to do is um let's open both for uh, open both folders side by side let's open that in a new window and drag it to the side now before that um let's drag this down to see um other folders that we have on the desktop now we need to copy our stock recovery.img file into the stock um, Android Image Kitchen 2 folder. So I have my stock ROM here for the Techno Spark 4 KC8. So let's open the folder and copy the stock recovery.img file. Let's copy this. Right click and copy and then minimize that folder and paste in the stock Android Image Kitchen 2 folder. Paste. Now for this tutorial, I've decided to go with the Orange Fox um, custom recovery. Orange Fox is also based on TWRP um, recovery, so let's go ahead and copy the port recovery as well and paste in the port recovery folder. Now let's paste that here. So now you can go ahead and close the, the other folder. So now let's drag both folders um, side by side. Okay, and um, our stock recovery. Now you can see we have our stock recovery on the left and the port recovery on the right. So what you need to do now is um, go into the stock um, Android Image Kitchen 2 folder and then you double click on the unpackimg.bat. Now this will extract the recovery component for us. So let's go into the port recovery and do the same for the port recovery. So 
So let's um, give that a moment to complete. Okay, our stock recovery has finished unpacking. You simply need to click enter or you close the window. Now let's wait for the port recovery to unpack. Okay, um our port recovery has also finished them unpacking so you can go ahead and click enter to close the window so now the next thing you want to do is um you go into the you discover that um in both folders you have two new subfolders which is the ram dix folder and the split underscore md folder so now uh, you go into the split underscore md folder in the port recovery you open it Now, in the split underscore md folder, you delete all the components in that folder that is in the port Android the Magic Kitchen 2 folder. Now, you go back into your stock, uh, stock Android the Magic Kitchen 2 folder. Now, you open the split underscore md subfolder. Now, you highlight all the components, you copy it, right click, copy, and then you paste. In the port folder and let's wait for that okay now we are done here you simply go back now the next thing is um, to open the ram disk folder you open in you open the port ram disk folder and then you open the stock ram disk folder now in the stock ram disk folder you scroll down and you look for these two files the uevent.rc i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly and the prop.default file now you copy both files and um you replace it with uh with that with those in the port um folder okay um now we are simply done porting so you can go back So um, what you need to do next is um, so now we don't actually need the stock um, folder anymore. So we let's go ahead and minimize that and maximize the port recovery folder. So the next thing is um, you you double click on the repack img.bats. Now this will repack the recovery.img file and give us a new recovery that we can now flash on our device. So let's go ahead and do that already. So let's give that a moment to um, the repack process to complete. Okay, now the repack process has been uh, completed, so you click on enter or you just simply close the window. Um, now you discover that um, you have a new um, image file. Now, you let's go ahead and rename the image file. Let's call it um, recovery or let's simply call it TWRP. So let's right click and rename and TWRP IMG. Now let's copy this file out and paste on the desktop. Um, copy or let's just cut it and um, minimize the window and then paste. Okay, now this is our final um, recovery. Now with this, you've successfully ported the TWRP custom recovery for your device. Now all that's left to do is um, 
you flash the TWRP recovery to your device using either ADB and Fastboot tool or you can use um, the smartphone flash tool. So that's it guys. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.